Hi everyone, Bing created its own image generator. We decided to compare it to Midjourney. Let's arrange a battle of neural networks and let's form the same instruction for both and compare work speed, convenience and the quality of generated image. Let's create some Facebook promo posts. Round one, fight! This is the Bing result. And this is the result of Mid Journey. Mid Journey wins. Let's change the instruction a little. Round two, fight! Bing result. Mid Journey result. Midjourney wins again. Next instruction. Round three. Fight! Bing. Midjourney. Where is the capsule being? Yes, and this woman doesn't seem to be happy very much. We won't sell much with that kind of creativity being. Midjourney wins again. Let's ask the neural network to represent itself. Round four, fight! Bing result. Mid journey result. There is practically nothing to discuss. Mid journey has more details and more creativity. Fatality. We didn't show you a speed comparison, since both Bing and Midjourney showed approximately the same result. The quality of generated images from Midjourney is much better. Now, let's talk about convenience. First, Bing only understands English. Midjourney works best with English, but can understand other languages as well, such as Spanish. Second, and perhaps the most important, Midjourney has opportunity to choose the option he likes the most and continue working with it until the result is good. Bing doesn't have that option. The main conclusion is that a highly specialized tool works best for its tasks. So Midjourney shows a much better result than the new Bing, in which they try to combine both the assistant and the teacher and the programmer, and the designer, and so on. Do you have any questions? Ask them in the comments. For more videos about using AI in everyday work, watch our channel. See you soon.